Hello free souls. It took me two years to work it out, but here I am. I had an issue with all four. Estrogen dominance, hypothyroidism, high cortisol and high histamine. And it seemed like they were completely random, totally unrelated symptoms, but I couldn't be any more wrong because in fact, they are all closely linked together and they all have the same root cause. And once you get to that root cause and get rid of it, you can actually remove all of these symptoms. So that's today's topic. Let's get started. Estrogen dominance is when your estrogen is high and progesterone is normal or estrogen is normal and progesterone is too low or both can be low. Basically what it means is that you have uh, more estrogen than you should have compared to progesterone. So the ratio is off more towards estrogen. And when you have estrogen dominance, you actually produce more histamine and you also release more histamine from the mast cells and that creates histamine intolerance. Have you ever noticed how around the times when your estrogen actually gets higher, you start having more of those weird high histamine symptoms like acne, itchy skin, um, stuffy nose, uh, sneezing, hay fever, unexplained digestive difficulties, all of those could be symptom of high histamine. And the times when estrogen is the highest is a few days around your relation and a few days or up to a week before your period. Now there's a catch there too. High histamine actually promotes the production of estrogen. And so this vicious cycle keeps feeding on itself on and on and on. Estrogen dominance also disrupts your thyroid function for three different reasons. One, it um, reduces the output of thyroid hormone, so how much you produce. Two, it messes up with a conversion from 3T4 to 3T3. And three, it increases the amounts of thyroid hormone binding globulin, which means that you won't be able to absorb and utilize the hormone that you have already produced. So that's really not fun. When thyroid function gets low, your liver gets more and more sluggish. Now the liver is the organ that gets rid of excess estrogen. So if the liver can't do its job properly, you're going to accumulate more and more estrogen and you won't be able to get rid of it. So you'll have more estrogen dominance. Now, where does cortisol come into the picture? Well, cortisol is actually the antagonist of histamine. It essentially gets rid of excess histamine in the body. So if your cortisol is high, it might just be high because that's how your body fights all the excess histamine and all those excess allergy symptoms. High histamine levels are very likely to be accompanied by high cortisol levels. Of course, to a certain point when you get really advanced adrenal fatigue and all your adrenal reserves are used up, then your cortisol will be too low and that's when histamine intolerance will get even worse. If you try to lower cortisol using, for example, cortisol lowering, lowering herbs like holy basil, you might find that your hay fever gets worse, your nose gets stuffier, you start itching more. That's exactly what happened to me and it took me a while to understand why. But basically what it means is that cortisol is high for a reason. It's your body's protective mechanism. High cortisol interferes with thyroid function in a very similar way like estrogen dominance. And also it depletes progesterone, which leads to even more estrogen dominance and even more histamine and even higher cortisol and so on and so forth. And as you can see, this vicious cycle just continues feeding on itself and it's really difficult to get out of. And if you try to fix any of these issues on their own, it's very likely that you'll just get things worse. But if you find the actual, the real root cause and get rid of that, then it's very likely that everything else will fix itself. So the question is, which is the root cause? You know, which is the egg and which is the chicken? In this case, I think it's either estrogen dominance or hypothyroidism. And in my case, I think it was estrogen dominance. Let me tell you a little story about my history, about why I think it was estrogen dominance. So my first period started when I was 12, around 12. And it was awful right from the start. I had all the symptoms of estrogen dominance right from the start, but of course, I didn't know better. My mom didn't know either. So I suffered like that, just with estrogen dominance for quite a while, and I was still reasonably healthy. The interesting thing, I was a perfectly healthy kid super strong, full of energy, very even moods until my first period. And when that period happened, everything just started sliding down. Then 
many years down the line, I started developing hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's and then I started getting more and more hay fever and weird allergy symptoms and I was so proud all of my life not to have any kind of allergies and suddenly I started getting all of these allergies and then finally I started having cortisol issues. So for me, I really think that the change started from estrogen dominance, but it might be different for you. You might have different ideas. So now it's time for us to have a little discussion. So let me know what you think. What is your chicken and what is your egg? What do you think was the thing that started it all for you? So let me know and I hope that you found this video interesting and helpful. I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.